Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about um, old Pro Art Arts markers and new Pro Arts markers. Recently, Pro Arts was. Um, Recently, Pro Arts was acquired by Cole Arts, which owns Windsor Newton. So the Letra Set Pro, Art, Pro Arts markers are being rebranded as Windsor Newton markers. Um, and I thought since I have examples from both of their lines, I would go ahead and give you guys maybe a side-by-side -side comparison. So over to the left is um, our, the older Pro Arts markers. So the Letra Set Aqua markers and the Letra Set Flex Markers. And I don't actually own any of the um, Letra Set Pro Markers without the brush tip. I, um, I vastly prefer brush tip markers, so I didn't ever invest in any. Um, over to the right are the new Winsor Newton watercolor brush markers. And the new Winsor Newton alcohol-based brush markers, which are the old Pro markers. So I'm going to go ahead and move these off of the tabletop so I can do some side-by-sides to help you guys get an idea of the changes. I haven't yet done a formal review of the new Windsor Newton brush markers, so keep an eye peeled for that. But I have reviewed Pro markers in the past, both their original bodies and their brush bodies. So at the top, we have a Letra Set Flex Marker. They have a bit of a strong smell. They have a very conical brush tip. It's still pretty flexible though, and a very um, sharp ch chisel tip. So that's the old flex marker. The caps are pretty much identical, and they have a little piece of paper underneath a plastic protector to help uh, with color picking. The new markers are built a lot like the Winsor Newton watercolor brush markers. They use the same body. The brush marker selection is much smaller than their um, the normal pro marker selection. I think it's only like 72 markers. The body is a bit smaller, a little less bulky in the hand. The aqua markers from Letra Set have the same body that the new brush markers and the newer watercolor markers have. They all have the same body. The caps all have um, a little notch on the end, only one end to keep them from rolling, and they only have the color chip on one end. I've already reviewed the aqua markers. I don't think they're available anymore. Um, well, I mean, you could probably find them on like Amazon or other sites that sell older markers. Maybe Marker Pop would have them, eBay would have them. So I've already reviewed those markers and you can find out more about them on my blog, netasoup.blogspot.com. I've also already reviewed the Windsor Newton markers and I have an ongoing list of which ones. Um, perform better because there is a great deal of variation in quality with the Windsor Newton watercolor markers. So um, the new Windsor Newton watercolor markers almost have the same conical tip that the flex markers have. Um, the aqua marker has the largest uh, Japanese brush nib out of any of these. And when I say largest, I really mean it's the fattest, it's the chunkiest. Um, both of the watercolor markers have a bullet nib for finer details and a brush nib for filling in larger spaces. Uh, with the Winsor Newton watercolor markers, the bullet nib's color often varies greatly from the brush nibs regardless of how you store your markers. And you should always store your markers horizontally so that there's even ink distribution to both ends. These are pigment-based watercolor markers. 
these are dye based and both of the alcohol based markers use dye for the color. With the watercolor markers, you just need some water to get them activated and to get the pigments moving, although they can be blended to an extent amongst themselves. With the alcohol markers, um, you're going to want to use a blender marker. And I bought my Winsor Newton brush markers open stock, so I don't have a blender marker for it yet. And my flex markers, however, I do have a blender marker for. The flex markers also share a body with the now defunct um, Utrecht design markers. Even though these markers are like four years old, they're still very juicy. The ink flows very well. They were well-made markers. The nib on the new brush marker is also very nice. Uh, very juicy and flexible, comparable to um, a Prismacolor or a Copic marker, which I'll pull out in a minute. All of these are, um, both the flex marker and the brush marker are alcohol-based markers that are designed and intended to be blended. So um, they're meant to be used with other colors from that range. So with the flex markers, for example, I'll pull out three the set I have is a 12, I think it's a 12 piece set that I bought several years ago to review for the blog. I'm going to try to stick to the brush in. So that's my darkest color. It's the next darkest color in the blues. Um, I know for a fact that the flex markers can be used with Copic or Prismacolor markers. Uh, I assume, and I will let you guys know for sure, that the new brush markers are pretty much the same. Just in a different body. And I'm working on building up a small collection of the brush markers for review purposes. So, for your comparison, I'm going to pull out a Copic sketch and a Prismacolor marker, a Mexby marker, and a Shinhan Twin Touch marker. Since those are kind of my current favorites when it comes to alcohol based markers. Okay. So I'm going to do the refillable markers, or the markers that were designed to be refillable at the top. Copic, Shinhan, and Mexby are all markers that are designed to be refillable. You can also replace the nibs if you can find the replacement nibs. Sometimes that's difficult, especially with the Shinhan and the Mexby as they're becoming increasingly harder to find. Next is Prismacolor. I think pretty much everybody's familiar with these. They're sold almost everywhere at this point. And then we're gonna do the new brush marker. And the old Letcher Set Flex.
and I think I'm going to pull out, because I think I still have one. regular old-fashioned Prismacolor marker, yeah, that has the bullet nib and the chisel nib. And you can see that is a substantial tri-tip chisel nib, which is my favorite chisel nib. I wish more marker companies offered that when they do chisel nibs. So the top three are refillable, the bottom three are not. Um, most art supply stores are going to have the brush marker, the Prismacolor marker, and um, Copic markers of some type. You may not be able to buy them open stock, but um, you should be able to buy them in sets. You can also get them online through Amazon or Dick Blick. Um, check the card, uh, and I'll have a link for you guys for the new brush markers. The Flex markers, if you think you would like them better, um, they might be harder to find because they've been replaced with the new brush marker. Um, both of them have a kind of rough hewn chisel nib, not nearly as delicate and nuanced and designed as the Prismacolor chisel nib. But both have really nice brush nibs that make it make rendering a lot easier. So I hope that brief overview of the Flex markers, the Winsor Newton brush markers, Winsor Newton pigment based watercolor markers, and Letraset aqua markers, um, I hope that overview helped you guys. Um, I hope it cleared up some confusion if you had any. If you have any questions, please uh, leave me a comment or send me an email. And if you're interested in content like this, uh, let me know, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, I'd love to do more, and also please check out my blog, natosoup.blogspot.com. I've been writing art supply reviews for five years now. There's a lot of interesting content on there, a lot of helpful content on there, and I'm slowly working my way through making uh, videos to accompany most of my alcohol-based marker posts. So have a good day, guys. Bye.